Honestly, I'm done counting calories in this my lifetime. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Timmy Banjo and if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Please do well by making sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. It's very free, absolutely free and very easy to do. Also hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of my uploads. And if you do like this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it helps with the rating of my video. So without further ado, let's get right into today's information about why you shouldn't be counting calories because honestly, I'm done counting calories in this my lifetime. So I have done well by making charts today. So it's going to be easier or easily understood today because my previous video, I was just using my hands to do so many gestures and and people told me oh you can do charts so that we can understand it better so today I'm with charts here or with papers I have made inscriptions on so everything is understood properly so first things first why shouldn't you be counting calories the reason why you shouldn't be counting calories is because calories is you know is large is made up of so many classes of food so what classes of food exactly are you having so if you are saying you're on a 500 calorie diet what exactly are the things in your 500 calorie diet that is why it is not wise to count calories rather it is better you count your macronutrients instead so here i have a chart here which says 500 calories so you can be on a 500 calorie diet and be saying Oh, I'm on a 500 calorie diet. I'm on a 500 calorie diet. So what exactly is on that your 500 calorie diet? So this is 500 calorie. Let us know if you're on a 500 calorie diet and what exactly you're having. But right here, this tells us that this person is having just rice on their 500 calorie diet, which interprets to they are having starch. They are having just carbs and starch on their 500 calorie diets. So if you're out there saying, oh, I'm on a 500 calorie diet, um, I'm bound to lose weight pretty soon. What exactly are you having? You are meant to have all the classes of food. You are meant to track your macronutrients. Make sure you are getting the right classes of food because you have so many classes of food and you don't even know the one which is best for your body type. So you cannot just go out and be saying you're on a 500 calorie diet and you're bound to lose weight pretty soon. So the best thing for you to do is count macronutrients instead this chart right here reads 1500 calories this is for the macronutrients and funny enough you can even have up to 2000 calories and still do better than people who are having 500 calories I know right it all boils down to the macronutrients what exactly are you having and also it is not wise for you to reduce your calorie intake if you are trying to lose weight because your body will then your metabolism will reduce because your body thinks that it doesn't have so much work to do it's going to reduce your metabolism and that way your body will not be able to break down food faster for you to, for for it to give you energy I hope that is understood I'll take that again when you reduce your calories, your metabolism is slow because your body thinks it doesn't have so much work to do. But if you up your calories and you're having so many food, so many nutrients to eat, your metabolism is faster that way. So it's not wise for you to reduce your calories because you're out there bragging that you're on a 500 calorie diet or even a 200 calorie diet, no. Or some people say you need to be on a calorie deficit for you to lose weight, no. You either need to be on a carb deficit diet or on a fat deficit diet or or on a low carb diet or on a keto diet for you to lose weight. All right, so let's go over this chart. This is 1,500 calories. Now compare this 1,500 calories to a person that has 500 calories. You might be thinking this is a lot of calories because wow, this is a lot of food. But here is the summation of 1500 calories so you can see here there's vegetables there's carbs there's protein and there's fat this is a very very good macronutrient tracking this is a very good chart of what a person should have in their diet so right here i don't know if you can see this but this is this says the vegetable is 55 percent carbs is 25 percent 
fat is just five percent probably the fat from which the food was produced from either olive oil butter sunflower oil canola oil whichever one it is and protein here is just 15 percent so this is a very very beautiful macronutrient chart like if you can have this every single day you are bound to live a healthy lifestyle you are bound to lose weight or either keep your weight loss in check also the fact that the vegetable is more than every other food here means that your food is going to be easily digested because of the high fiber content your body is having in in the presence of the vegetables also some vegetables are known to have vitamin c so you're not just having vegetables in that diet you're also having vitamin c in that same macronutrient tracking inside this vegetable area here vegetables like pumpkin leaves spinach and so many other leafy greens have vitamin c's in them so this is perfect and very very okay for you to use to track your macronutrients all right so i know you'll be wondering how am i supposed to track my macronutrients i don't even know what class of food is there are so many apps you can use to track your nutrients and and some of them even you just have to scan your food and it tells you what food you're having how many nutrients how how many calories it is in that food and other informations you want to know about the food you can do your own research and find out about so many apps you can use to track your nutrients to track your macros and so on and so forth so don't be like this guy who has 500 calories and just brags about eating only rice rather you should up your calories make sure you track your macronutrients alongside your calories meanwhile i'm not trying to say it is bad for you to have 500 calories or you cannot have vegetables in your 500 calorie food of course you can have 500 calories and still have all the classes of food in it it is very very possible for you to do that but i'm saying for you to eat properly making sure you have enough energy making sure you take the required amount of macronutrients you have in your food and not to starve yourself you do not have to starve yourself to lose weight i keep on saying this eat properly okay eat properly if you want to lose weight Reducing your calories makes your metabolism slow down. So it is not wise for you to be on a very, very low calorie um, diet. Rather, it's very, very important for you to track your macronutrients. All right. So I think we've come to the end of this video. And I'm very sure you did enjoy this content. That means you should be giving this video a thumbs up by now. Give this video, remember to give this video a thumbs up and I would love to see you on my next video which you are about to click on now You can check out my videos which will appear on your screen here and here and I would love to see you in the next one you are about to click on. Let's go!